we are back we're gonna try something today that i'm kind of scared and we'll see what happens but we're gonna wrap the brake calipers in some r vinyl caliper wrap which is specifically made for the temperature um so i went blue because they obviously don't have the color i'm gonna go for but maybe eventually i will powder coat some new brake calipers but uh these are reflective too so we'll see at night but how they look because they look pretty cool and and if you research them online you'll see it looks almost like a neon bright baby blue color and link down below to get this stuff so i'm hoping this gets there's a little applicator car a little squeegee but i think these are six by 12. i'm hoping that's enough if not i'm gonna cover most of the front obviously and then the, the top where you can see See, and also too, it's kind of like, there's like a little bit of a flake or something in there. You can kind of, can't really tell, but, but yeah, it's there. So we're going to get these on and I'm hoping that's enough because I got four sheets. So I'll let you know, I'll t um, link the thing to get 12 by 12 sheets or six by 12 sheets. So I'm hoping this is enough, but if not, you know, I'll buy some more, but it's not that expensive. It was like 25 bucks. So Here's all the stuff, remove, clean, peel, line, heat, stretch, squeegee, trim, pop, air bubbles, and it's wrapped. Our vinyl. Let's get to the wheels. I got the a jack, the jack stands. Flip her up, put the jack stands on her, get the wheels off, and start wrapping. So we got the jack and jack stands underneath it. Um, we're gonna clean her off some, with some degreaser and brake cleaner. Wipe her off, heat her up. It wrapped up. So did some brake cleaner real quick. Kind of got all scraped up. Got some of the rust off some of it, but it's gonna take. If I really want to clean it, I'm gonna have to like take it totally off and everything, and it'll take forever. And I don't have all day, just like most of us. So also too, I recommend getting a bigger wire brush because <laughs> this thing is tiny. It's good for little nooks and crannies and stuff, but definitely will make the job a lot easier if you had a bigger one. So that's on me. And since we're gonna degrease and clean it up, we gotta grab the super clean like always. So uh, we're also doing a giveaway. I will either put now or in the next video, which is now. I should have measured it before because these are huge calipers. These are big, beefy. And I, for some reason I didn't think about it, but we're still gonna finish the job partly. This thing, the main thing is I don't have enough. Literally the whole thing covers the top of it and only the top of it. So what I might do is do the front because I'd rather have the front done and it's gonna look really ghetto, bougie, whatever you wanna call it for now because you'll see this, the back of it. But uh, let's do where I'm gonna try to wrap this part first and the front and then part of this. Because I'd rather have what you're mainly gonna see doing and then I'll probably have to buy some more, which, I don't have to buy more and it's not that bad. So if you do buy this, buy, if you're doing a truck, an HD truck, buy um, a 12 by 12 sheets. Definitely worth it because it'll be six inches wider than what I have, which should be enough. Depends on the application. But yeah, these are not the prettiest, so it should work, but it's it's clean. It's I washed it, degreased it and everything. It's just really dirty and rusty. So, and people are like, it's not gonna stick. We'll see. I'll let you know an update if it doesn't. Wow, look how amazing she is. But not really. <laughs> okay, so I did the best I could. It honestly looks way better than I thought it would be. And it's first time really wrapping something. It actually came out looking kind of good. On camera, it looks like a almost blue, dark blue, purplish color, but it's actually really like light. It's a little bit lighter than the, or darker than the blue bill scene in person. So that's kind of gives you a little bit perspective. So what I'm thinking is, cause I really hate that that looks like that. The product is amazing. It is very awesome. So what I've been using is the, the applicator card squeegee and a razor. And even then I'm like, you really can't tell. Like, let me see if I can see on camera. But literally this arm or this little bar thing, the part of the caliper is like in pieces. Like I literally had to cut it. Like I'd like, let's see if you can see. 
So see right there, I had to cut a piece off and put it right there. Or that's what I had extra and I didn't have a spot to cover that. But you can kind of see where I kind of mismatched and everything. Like, but far away, I mean, you really can't, I mean this far, you can't really tell that I like have mismatched pieces. Even in person, it doesn't look that bad. You can kind of see the wrinkles and stuff and which kind of almost looks like part of the caliper, like little dimples and imperfections in the caliper. That, uh, it looks good, actually. Kind of... So what I might do is, and I hate doing this, is uh, putting all four pieces on the front two brakes. And, or I don't know, the cool thing maybe I might do is do one side, front and rear. So when you're looking at it, it looks cool. But then on the other side, you don't know, like you're like, because you look down on the side, you'd be like, why is the front blue and the back's old and rusty or, you know, whatever. When you can, if you look at one side of the truck, you're like, oh, wow, it looks cool. But obviously you wouldn't know until you <laughs> went to the other side. So I might do that. I just do one side and then order some more. It took forever to get this though. And I just want to finish it. Truck, car, people, for sure. You want the job done, but you don't want to wait. I might decide in here in a second. My, I'm almost leaning sh towards just doing the driver's side. So, we'll just, I guess do it. Put the caliper on real quick and I will show you what she looks like. Be prepared. Oh, way better. Like, <laughs> obviously the wheel hides like all the parts you can't really see, but that is sweet like you can't like if i if i were to look at it i'm like okay it looks good it looks sweet but uh watch this bam look how reflective that thing it looks it's really reflective on camera it's not that reflective during the day but off on off on wow okay so tip my off but yeah i really can't tell it looks like it's painted like for real like powder coated like unless you really 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 look at it like you wouldn't be able to tell so i'm almost gonna do all four just do the front and then i was thinking about it after i get the next um next order some more you know whenever i can just it's easier to put the put it on the back because the back is flat and easy you can just put us um hold on so you can kind of just go through the back it's a lot easier because it's just flat you know, that's, that'll be easy. So I don't have to take out the wheel and tire again. So I'll do all the fronts cause that's the, also the little holes and crevices and whatnot. But yeah, that looks way better. Ha, huh, I cannot wait. It looks almost like glow in the dark on camera. I've learned from a little bit of my mistakes on how to do it. Um, so what we're gonna do is I got a long enough piece I want this way wrap that first then i put it on here on the front cut it out right here and then lay that that big the rest of it against that which part of it's covered but yeah other than that i mean heat it up make sure it's all good and we're set kind of witty i got done kind of sucked but uh it took me a good three and a half hours three and a half four hours just because i stopped hey for a second and uh yeah, it's my first time, so I had to be gentle with myself. But uh, it, yeah, it, like literally the first, the side on that, the driver fronts took the longest because I know, know how to do it. And literally afterwards, when I got to the rear, my last one, I was like a professional. It's like, it sucked all of them. The worst one's that one, then it got better, and then it got better, and then it got like even way better. But yeah, definitely takes time to get, because after that, I, I, started getting more and more i figured out a way it tricks on how to do it to use the whole strip but it'd probably be better if you bought two more or two kits if you got the six by 12 like i did you can get the 12 by 12 but i'd still get it in two kits um but yeah this one came out perfect i had like enough for all of it so if you just cut it right you can get her you can get her done uh definitely looks cool though looks like it's like glowing in the dark like there's that in the light. Then it kind of just looks a little bluer, darker. But yeah, I'll put down the link below to get some 
buy two if you have my truck. If you have a car, probably one will be okay, but I'd say two just to be safe. Then you don't have to worry about it. But uh, yeah, looks good, looks cool. Uh, thanks for watching.